Hello, this is Rob Coven here. I'm going to show you how to use Zapier to copy video files or any files from your Dropbox account to an Amazon S3 account. And this is to make things easier for you when you're uploading your videos to Amazon's Video Direct service. And this involves no uploading or downloading from your personal internet connection. It's all done on the cloud. So it should speed things up for you. So we'll go to Zapier first and what we need to do is find a Zap. You'll also have to link your API keys from Zapier to Dropbox and Amazon S3. This is quite easy with Dropbox. With Amazon S3 it's a little bit more difficult. You need to go to your name up here in the Amazon AWS console and security credentials and then you click continue to security credentials, then you'll find your access keys here. Once you've done that, you need to find the zap. And if you go to explore and you've already specified two of the apps you're using are Dropbox and Amazon S3, then it might suggest this zap to you. Otherwise, you're just going to have to search for it. But this is the zap copy files from a Dropbox folder to an Amazon S3 bucket. So we go use this zap and then it's telling you what you need. So we'll go make this zap. So this is the Dropbox account I've already linked to. So I'll use this one. And then we're taken to my directory in Dropbox. And here I'm going to choose a folder that I've already created for this purpose. It's empty folder that I've called drop and it's empty because this zap will only work once you've set it up and then you place the files in the folder. So we'll go save and continue. So we'll go use this one. That's the Amazon S3 account that I've connected to Zapier. But before we do that, I'm going to set it up in Amazon Video Direct because I need to get a name for a folder. Here is one of the movies I'm creating and the first episode. And here under Mezzanine File, we want to click Amazon S3. If you're doing it for the first time, you'll see this screen. You've clicked the Amazon S3 button to upload the Mezzanine file. So you click Get Started and click an Amazon S3 bucket name. So we'll go back to the console at S3. And once you have set your Amazon S3 service up at aws.amazon.com, you will see a screen like this where you can create buckets. Buckets are kind of like folders. Here are my buckets there, and I'm going to copy the name of that one and enter it here. And here it's asking me to create a new folder inside that bucket that we specified in question one. So we'll go back to the bucket and create folder, paste in that name, click the tick, and there's the folder. So we go back to Amazon Video Direct and click continue. And then we have to copy this. Go back to all buckets. We'll right click on the bucket we specified and select properties. And under permissions, click this button edit bucket policy. This is where you paste that text. That's not very well explained on the Video Direct site, but that's done now. So that is actually showing us the contents of that folder in that bucket, but it's empty now because we haven't put anything in. Now we have to go back to the zap and we can specify that bucket. So click on that arrow there, it will find the buckets. You can only put it into the bucket and then you have to move it from the bucket into that folder with a special name. So we'll go save and finish. And now it's turning the zap on, it's turned on. So now comes the moment of truth. In my Dropbox, now I could do this at dropbox.com, but I'm going to do it through my finder. I want to put all the contents of that folder into the folder I specified in Zapier. The beauty of this is it's not going to use any internet resources. That's it. It's all done. However, we do have to wait for five minutes for this Zap to complete because we're using the free option at Zapier. And five minutes later, all that has copied 
around about a gigabyte of information moved from one cloud service to another in five minutes. Could be even quicker than that. But it's still not in the right place because it's in a bucket. It's not in that folder within the bucket that we need it to be. So all we do is select one of them and then Command or Control A is select all. Deselect that folder and then we right click and cut go inside the folder which is empty now right click again and paste again we're moving a gigabyte of information and this happens very quickly indeed as well two gig i should say over two gig of information so there it is going into the correct folder that should copy all in about a minute's time so that's all done now. It's all in the correct place in Amazon S3. And in order to put your video on Amazon Video Direct, doesn't matter if you choose a standalone episodic or subscription movie, we'll go for episodic. And here are my episodes, the first one, and the mezzanine file. We click on the Amazon S3 button. And if you can't see it there, you need to click refresh file list but it's gone straight to that folder with the funny name it gave you and all you have to do is select the correct one select the language English United States and then you can do that however many times you want but at the end of the day you have to click save and that's it hope you enjoyed that that's a quick way to get all your videos up on Amazon video direct without using any internet uploading resources, which is a good thing if you're living in a place that doesn't have very good internet. My name's Rob Coven. I'll see you in the next video.